Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into eTalks webcast this week. My name's Chloe, and this is Avery, Mallory, and Cammie, and we're going to be talking about celeb gossip this week. So let's start off with Kourtney Kardashian. She recently split with her ex, Eunice, and she's jumped right into two new possible relationships. We, she's been seen with 27-year-old Far Kadra at an L.A. juice shop and recently also been seen with 20-year-old designer, actor, and model Luca Sabat, who happens to be a longtime family friend of the, the Kardashian-Jenner family. She always goes for younger guys, as you can see, and Courtney also has to keep her relationships private. Wow. Yeah, good for her going for younger guys, yeah. honestly. I know, but I'm kind of a fan of her and Scott. I wish they would get back together. I, know. I love Scott personally. He's, he's moved like a on. family figure. He's moved on. Yeah, but they've three like kids the new together. It's true. I don't know. Well, we'll Scott see Courtney what happens. Forever. I know. <laughs> and speaking of the Kardashians, Kim Kardashian West, her husband, Kanye West, is releasing a new album on Saturday Night Live. But however, he um, is releasing it around the same time that Little Wayne is. Um, going to be uh -huh. releasing his new album called Carter Five, but they seem to be okay and like on good terms, and they're both very, very positive about the whole situation, which is really great. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, Kanye's always on that negative vibe. He always starts all the drama, so it's mm -hmm. good for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm He's very excited. I'm a big Kanye fan, so I'm very excited for this album. <laughs> Me too. He said they need a little bit of Kanye and Little Wayne together to make. The music thrive, I guess. Yeah, I like that. So, speaking of celeb, um, celebs in the music industry, Ariana Grande's fiance Pete Davidson is receiving death threats right now um, through different tons of different social media platforms, um, and a lot of people think it's because of the death of Mac Miller, but it's actually just because people are just so obsessed with Ariana and think she's so attractive and everything. So, I think mm -hmm. it's just kind of ridiculous that it. He's receiving death threats all over just that, and he actually had to delete his Instagram for it. Um, and he doesn't even have access to his Instagram anymore. That's honestly insane. Yeah, People that's are, like, awful. Crazy these days. They've gone through so much already. I feel like it's like enough is enough at some point. I don't know why people care so much about like, these two people anymore. Right, and I think people need to stop placing the blame on Ariana and Pete for Mac's mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. I, I really agree. don't think the things are related yeah. that closely. Yeah, so they aren't. of course. And speaking of Ariana Grande and Mac's death, she was, as we know, his past girlfriend. And after the breakup, um, they saw different people, and Mac um, ended up having an overdose. And people have placed the blame on Ariana. And because of this, she received a lot of hate, as well as Pete, um, for different reasons. But anyway, she had to delete her Instagram as well, or just stop posting as often. Um, but she's come back re recently with a picture of all her dogs. And within the dogs, there was a picture of Mac's dog. So Mac Miller fans came to the conclusion that Ariana was babysitting his dog. Um, and whether this is permanent or just situational for the time being, um, everyone's really happy the dog's in good hands. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I like is. that. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy that like everything can be good between them. Yeah, yeah and everything's just settled and they can finally move on, which is yeah. an yeah. awful thing. Like, but you know, never yeah, need they can. Blood. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for listening. Um, that's all the time we have for today, but we will be back with another webcast soon. <laughs>